Hey guys, what's up? It's Maverick420 and today I'm going to be doing a void bow tutorial for you guys showing you exactly how to upgrade the void bow or some people like to call it the skull crusher bow. At the end of this video I will have a clip showing you exactly how many shots it takes to kill a panzer. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so for the first step, of course, you know you need to get the Wrath of the Ancients bow by doing all the dragon heads, which you can find right here. And after you do this, you have to go and find the void arrow tip. Okay, so now you're going to make your way down to the first courtyard, which is right by the spawn area, you, where the first dragon head is. You're going to come down here to where the gobble gun machine and double tap is. You look up and you'll see the purple on the wall. You shoot it and it'll drop this arrow tip for you to pick up. And then you're going to head to the second courtyard. Okay, so now once you're in the second courtyard, you're going to come and open up this barrier and you're going to come down here and you're going to need to knife a zombie on top of this square. You don't shoot it or grenade it, you knife it. And when you do that, it's going to break open and you're going to have access to the urn and I'm going to show you exactly how that's done. Okay, so now what you want to do is go back up to that panel and you want to look down and click square on the urn and it's going to tell you to go find the skulls around the map. There's exactly six skulls you have to find. I'm going to show you exactly where they are. So the first skull is down at the bottom of the urn room right next to Mule Kick on a ledge. You click square on it, it'll glow purple, letting you know you collected it and then you're going to want to make your way back up to the second courtyard. Okay, so once you've made your way back up to the second courtyard, you're going to come up these stairs, and on that windowsill right there, you're going to go up to it, and there's another skull sitting right there. After that, you're going to go back to the first courtyard where this first dragon head is. Once you're in the first courtyard, you're going to come down here right next to double tap, and on the ledge right there by double tap, you'll find the next skull sitting on the ledge, and after that, you're going to make your way over to Samantha's room for the next one. Alright, so when you get to Samantha's room, you're going to look inside of her toy box right here, and it's just sitting there. After that, you're going to head down to the teleporter. Alright, so once you gain access to the teleporter room, you're going to come inside and then towards the right over here, you're going to go by the sink, and it's inside of the sink. Once you get that one, you want to make sure you have enough points to teleport, and then you're going to teleport down to the rocket pad. So once you get down to the rocket pad, you're going to want to go to the back of the map to where this truck is. You go to the back of the truck and you'll see it just sitting there in the back and you click on it and then once you're done with that, you're going to head back to the urn room for the next step. Once you get back to the second courtyard, you're going to come into the urn room and you're going to have to sacrifice six crawlers to the urn. The way you do that is you run around in circles and you throw a grenade. This the easiest way I know to do it. Other people like to use crawl space, but as you can see when I when I do it in this video, you do not need crawl space. It's very easy to do with just running around in circles and using a grenade. As you see, I got all six crawlers with one grenade, and when you're done with this part, it's going to give you a name, and you have to memorize the name that it tells you. This name will come into play with the next step, where you have to find three out of the six symbols by killing zombies, and all you need is three of them, you don't need all six of them. Like I said, you get them from killing zombies. Like, I just picked up that one a few seconds ago. If you ever happen to forget what the name was, just shoot it once with an arrow and it'll repeat it for you. So to find out what the symbols you need are, make your way to over to the power room. So in the power room, there's six boxes that you can find. There's crown, door, across the way up there, there's, an, there's another one which is stag. Right here is griffin. Up here is heart, and all the way at the other side, on this door right here, there's horn. You go up to the boxes that the urn told you to click on, it'll give you the next symbol. So the first one was stag, and we got moon. Second one was heart, and we got triangle. Also, keep in mind that the symbols will not always be in the same boxes. It's random every time. And when I get this zombie off of me, I'm actually going to show you guys every symbol there is. So you know which ones they are. You can copy them down somewhere if you want. Now I'm than 
Okay, so once again, the symbols are triangle, tear, stag, claw, ribbon, and of course the other one was moon. Now when you come down here, you'll see the symbols on the ground. This one is moon, stag, tear, triangle, ribbon, and claw. So for this next step, all you have to do is shoot the zombies and collect the three symbols that, you, that his name was. You do not have to collect them all, only the three that his name was, and then when you're done with that, you shoot the symbols on the ground. But be careful, because you can fail this, and you will have to start again. I'm going to show you now what happens if you fail it. So I'm going to hit three random ones that are not his name. And this is what he's going to say. Wait, when he says that, all the skulls are going to spin around in a frenzy, and you don't want to go down there because they will kill you. So all you have to do is wait for them to stop, and then you can do it again. So you come down here, and you shoot the three. That is his name, if you remember the symbols. Ours was Moon. Triangle. Tear. And then he's going to say this. Alright, so now the urn is going to actually break and release a, a purple energy beam. You're going to go up to it and you're going to click on that purple energy beam. And then it's going to take a couple seconds. It's going to release the arrowhead. You're going to pick up the arrowhead. And you're going to bring the arrowhead down to the undercroft. And you're going to put it in one of the four boxes. The one that's lit up for the purple bow. Alright, so once you get down to the undercroft, you're going to find the box specific for the void bow, which is this one. You put the arrow tip in it, you're going to get a max ammo for each arrowhead. All you have to do now is kill about 20 zombies inside of this square. It doesn't matter if you use your guns or your arrows. All you have to do is make sure you're killing them inside of the square. And then once you've killed all the zombies, it doesn't have to be a full round, it's just 20 zombies or so. The arrowhead's going to start making noises, it's going to start glowing, you're going to go up to it. As I do in this in this part right here, you're going to click on it, it's going to upgrade the arrow, and then you're going to be ready to use the new upgraded void bow. So as I promised, I'm going to show you exactly how many shots it takes to kill a panzer. All you have to do is fully charge the arrow three times and the panzer will die really easily. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, please give me a subscribe and a like, and please come back for my next video. Thank you.